So as an artist with handmade objects, yes. Lisa, you just saw this 3D models on the web. How do, how do you react to that physical versus virtual? What's um, that look like to you? Well, my background is in illustration. So um, illustrators have this saying that more uh, visual reference is always better. So anything that helps me better understand what it is I'm looking at, I, I'm going to have a hunger for. And I could see that being a very good tool for me as an artist. So it might be useful to you. How about? your sense of the feeling of loss of thingness. Ah, yes. I feel that a lot in the world that we live in now. Um, I, I love touching my paper, and um, though I think digital um, media provide excellent tools for me, I'm, I'm always going to go back to working with actual stuff. Uh, it's where my passion lies. That thingness. So yeah. do you feel sort of sad for the people who don't have an appreciation of thingness? Um, we can't avoid thingness, so maybe you don't enjoy it as much, but um, I think everybody's got it. That's the world that we live in. So ultimately, when you, do you see a way that there, this might combine virtual and thing, or do you see your world will always be thing and the digital world will always be digital? Mm -hmm, to combine the two. Um, Boy, uh, what comes to mind is that I use the Visible Human Project often as reference, um, mm. and that project started out with a thing, a cadaver, and at the end of the project, the cadaver was gone, but what we, ha what we had was um, digital images, um, a, a, data a database that I now use, and I make a tangible object again. So I, I do see a connection there. I'm not sure if that answers your well, question. Well, you and I come from a generation of thingness, and yeah, I suspect yeah. that a lot of younger folks are looking at this and going, this is a thing. What's your point? Uh -huh, okay. uh -huh, yeah, true. So thank you very much Thanks, for Jay. joining us in the TED It's a pleasure. Stage. Thank you.